Okay. Hey guys, it's me, and I'm, I was really too lazy to put on the proper lighting, so, yeah. Um, my face is kind of red, I don't know if you can tell, I did a car wash yesterday, and my son burned my face. Whatever. So, anyway, if I'm making a video, that means I finished another book. I'm really out of breath, because I had to go get it. And I finished this. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. At first I thought it was me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, but I didn't see the Anne in it. So, like for quite a while, I've been just calling it me, Earl, and a dying girl instead of me and Earl and the dying girl. Because, you know, commas are overrated. But, anyway. I'm out of breath, I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so this book is about this guy and this guy making a film for this dying girl. See what I did there? And... It is a really, 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 really good book. I mean, it even made like a tiny little reference to Fall in Our Stars, but I'm not sure if it, this book came out at the same time as the Fall in Our Stars. So, I'm not really sure about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I also got new glasses, so get used to it. And I really like this book. I also love the way how it is, because like, it'll go into like, where is like, like it'll go into normal dialogue see normal dialogue then it just goes into like script format and it's really cool then at one point it goes into bullet points and it goes into like other kinds of stuff and it's really cool and like in oh by the way i'm definitely gonna give spoilers in the end he basically wrote this book for the college he's going to because he didn't get accepted into it due to the fact that he failed all his classes just make it just for making the film for rachel and that's the dying girl in this case. So, this guy's named Greg, and this guy's named Earl, and this girl is named Rachel. Now, Greg and Rachel went to school with each other for, at a Jewish school. Then, Greg and Earl and Rachel's senior year of high school, Rachel gets a really rare form of cancer, which is leukemia, but it also, like, deals with the bone marrow, and it talks about it in here. And, but in here, it just says leukemia. But it got, like, really specific and narrow in it. So, the book alongside is, it's br it's really good. I definitely recommend reading it. Yes, it was a book at a time, and then yes, it was also a movie. It won Sundance Audience Award 2015 of this year, and it won Sundance Grand Jury Prize of this year as well. So, in case you know that... I think some award show, Rachel, the, I forgot her name, she went bald, I remember, like, and people had no idea why she went bald, they thought it was like some crazy movement she was going to, really, she was making the film for this, that's my theory, and she was making the film for this because at the time when they had a scene of where, when she did go through chemotherapy, she did have to chop off all her hair, and so that's my theory about this chick that I love a lot and you really not do not know about these two I haven't made like I haven't researched in depth about them but a lot of people know this one from Bates Motel and Bates Motel is an amazing TV show and I love it she was also in Ouija yes she was also in Ouija and Ouija was not also a very good movie but whatever I love this actress like so much like she's so underrated and not a lot of people know about her which I really love and that's why I also love this book I am gonna plan to go and see the movie and then I'm gonna do probably a blog post or a YouTube post or both about in comparison with me Earl and a dying girl along with the movie so I'm gonna make a in on in post about that meaning that will also mean for me to go sit in the back of a movie theater and sit on my phone and take notes because you know taking notes in movie theater is kind of really hard actually um so yeah um i actually did finally after me and arlo dying girl i finally started reading this uh it's been a while since i've been in the percy jackson series because it's probably been like a year or two since i read the titan's curse and I'm just going to try to plow through the series, that way I can be done with it. And then I'm looking at my bookshelf right now. I'm probably going to start the Scorch Trial since it's going to come out in September. My birthday month. And yeah. Uh, along with me reading like a whole bunch of other books I've been having on my shelf for quite some time. 
So, yeah. Um, I also met Chris Coffer and I fangirled and I cried. Um, I'm also going to read his book, Struck by Lightning, and his first book, The Land of Stories. I don't have a definite, but all I know is I got a big bag of them. So, yeah. Um, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do. I make more book editing. I make book reviews every now and then, and I'm also going to start a channel, hopefully, with my friend, and we're going to do a few other things that I've been planning to do for quite some time on my channel. And we're going to do it all on his channel. It's probably going to be a collab channel. This video is about to get really long, and I'm really sorry about that. If you want to subscribe, <clears throat> please do. If you want to give a like or a comment, please do. A comment what other books you want me to read. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all those other things. It's the same username. It's Little Squonker. It's everywhere. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!